25 packs. Time to visit Wireboy over in the workshop. Is Wireboy his prison name? <laughs> yes. Where is he holding 25 packs of cigarettes? Don't it's think I want to know. In the one place I knew they wouldn't look. In the orange jumpsuit. Now that I've killed all the prison inmates. 25 packs. Don't smoke them all in one sitting. Nice. Here's your battery acid. Let it sit on the contacts for a bit and then bathe in the sudden darkness. But all that's useless without an escape route. Don't worry about it. You seen Tattoo around? Ah, uh, after his escape mat. Man don't know how to keep his trap shut, does he? Not the brightest star in the planetarium. He's probably back from work detail by now, though. Check the showers. I gotta see Tattoo in the shower. <laughs> Next objective, see Tattoo in the showers. That's excellent advice for any prison. Go check out the showers. <laughs> yeah, this is uh... that. That's shadow barking. What's he in for? <laughs> the amazing thing is that's not as much of a joke as you think it is. Dumb mutt. Should put you down like your ex-partner. Leave him alone, sickle. Look at here. Dead man walking. What are you gonna do about it? Dead man. I don't know. Why don't you try me? It's a good thing the guards aren't armed. <laughs> so this is also a kennel? Apparently. Huh. Store prisoners with their dogs, why not? The dreaded cell block E. Um, Sickle blocks and dodges a little more than the other two guys, but... Um, can you figure out my strategy here? I'm working on it. <laughs> it's tough. Uh. Okay, just kick him right near your dog, Jack. Look at that, the other dogs are just sitting there. They're not even animated. <laughs> they're, just, they're just like dog statues. Maybe it's not a kennel, it's just a taxidermy place. <laughs> oh wait, I think that one dog moved. No. Yeah. I can't tell. <laughs> See, Sickle's a, a jerk to dogs, so, you know, this this threads for everybody. Pet lovers and pet haters. And the pet hater looks kind of like Hitler, so... <laughs> that's, that's my favorite part. I just like to pretend in this scene I'm beating up Kung Fu Hitler. <laughs> That would be an excellent subtitle to Dead to Rights, by the way. What, beating up Kung Fu Hitler? No, just Dead to Rights, Kung Fu Hitler. <laughs> I think we've, uh, I think we've got our thread title. <laughs> Sickle Heil! We, uh, <laughs> come on, come on, Sickle. You make this a, a rough fight for me. Can you um, rub his face in feces or something? <laughs> Oh, that's why! I completely forgot about that button. <laughs> that's your new disarm move that you learn later. You beat that dog again, I will neuter you on the spot. You got that, Sickle? Bastard. Hang tight, boy. Things aren't over yet. Alright, take easy, Shadow. Good luck with that. Tattoos made the showers his office. I hope there's no strict dress code. Oh, there's that Jack Slate wit I miss so much. David Caruso, he is not. He's not a lifer, he can't wear the shades yet. <laughs> not yet. Well, he's got the tank top on, because he's death row. He's upgrading a little by little. Apparently he's the only death row inmate in here. But then they just let him run around. Well, after you finish with everybody, you're the only inmate left in here. Oh, here's a full health pack. I can't wait to see the shower scene. About the time they flick the switch, we're gonna be halfway back to a hot babe and a cool drink. <laughs> you sure you can trust our ride to be there? The Gopher's my sister's old man's deadbeat brother. No ride, no money. He'll be there. Why don't you boys just shout it over the loudspeaker so everybody knows about the break? What break? What's it to you, cop? You're gonna be smoking out the ears while we drink fruity blender drinks on the beach. <laughs> Maybe I'll tag along. Run behind you guys. Kicking your ass the whole way. Oh, how do you plan on that? Tell the warden you want to walk off that last meal of donuts and whatever else you cops eat. <laughs> That's my business. I'm just here to see your map. 
They had some frame rate problems there at the end. <laughs> oh, well, a scene, the shower scene is like one of the most detailed things you can render. They're not very uh, good at showering, by the way. I'd just like to point out three boss fights in a row. Just focus on Tattoo. These other clowns are a waste of my time. And the gimmick in this one is he has two friends who are invincible. No, oh, you can't even hurt him? No, you can't. Oh. It's kind of a pain in the ass fight. There's two full health kits just for it. Does it at least get a little erotic? Oh, well, don't you think it is right now? I mean, it's getting there. We're, we're working up to it, don't worry. Those dripping sounds are doing it for me, I gotta admit. I kind of like the synchronized fighting going on here with the team <laughs> Tattoo and his friends. <laughs> and the third guy who's just kind of watching a maze. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's amazing. That really is amazing. He's cheering them on back there. He's like kind of scared, like he wants to jump in and fight, but he's like, eh, you know. I don't want to disrupt the rhythm they got going. Oh, the, there's a shower head right there. This is going to turn into the transporter in no minute. I like to think that before Jack came in here, they rehearsed all of this. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry about the map. Never mind. Uh -oh. I got a pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> Just hold that thought. Hold your uh, life meter there. Just focus on tattoo. Uh, These it. other clowns are a waste of my time. Jack's bossing you around, man. I know. He won't shut up with that shit. Like, I get it, dickhead. It's not my fault. Now they're just gonna hang there and watch me beat the shit out of their friend. Alright. Come on, tattoo, you aptly named prisoner. They really just ran out of things. Where, where is like, this tattoo? I'm trying to see. Oh, he's full of them. He's got one on his head, his arms. I need to look more closely. Yeah. Okay, they're yeah, yeah. They're they're subtle. It's subtle. I, I thought he was just wearing fishnets on his arms for a second. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, that's the other foot. That's the um people in for, like, misdemeanors. Ah, uh, yes. For the orange jumpsuit and fishnets. Or the prisoners who work in the cafeteria. Right. <laughs> this guy's like, all right. Thanks for the map, buddy. I appreciate it. Ugh, screw you! What the hell's going on in here? Tupperware party. What's it look like? Hey, you fellas seen Slate? Sickle's looking for him, and he's pretty steamed. Watching his good job, Keystone. I had what I came for. Now it was time to drop below radar and square up someplace safe to review the map. Like myself, for instance. Oh, you have one of those? <laughs> yeah, you don't need to use it, though. Good fool me. Jack, Jack, Kip Waterman, KLAY Action News. Yeah, I've seen your stuff. Listen, uh... I know you've been reluctant to do interviews, but, uh, you know, seeing this is gonna be your last chance, maybe you'd like to, you know... Yeah, sure. Why not? Son of a... <sighs> Tattoo's map wasn't half bad. It traced a route through the shower drain and a bunch of underground tunnels and ancient drainage pipes. This place was solid, but old, and it hadn't seen a whole lot of maintenance since Eisenhower was in the White House. I just had to hope the same could be said about old Sparky. In just a few moments, the raging controversy surrounding the murder of Augie Blatz will be put to rest with the execution of fallen police officer Jack Slate. Bearing witness today are Mayor William Pinnacle, Captain Dick Hennessy of the Grant City Anti-Crime Unit, who made the arrest, and a number of friends of the victim, including ex-heavyweight champ Rafshoon Diggs. Cost me a hundred bucks to get the pleasure of frying you, Slate. But I would pay two. Oh, Heavenly Father, look into this man's heart and find the goodness. Look upon his soul with mercy and welcome him into your kingdom with open arms. Oh, dear God, give us a miracle. If this works, I'll be back to get you out of here, preacher man. Lord don't like the promises, son. Faith, Padre, faith. <clears throat> okay, okay, it's time. Hey, Slate, when you get to hell, mention my name, and they'll give you a discount. Jack Slate, 
On behalf of the people of Grant City, I sentence you to death by means of electrocution for the heinous crime of intentional murder. Do you have any last words? Not yet. Son of a... <laughs> Somebody turn on the damn lights! It's sickle! Lockdown! I want this place sealed solid! Thank you, Lord. Praise Jesus. Okay, I left one death in here to show you something. I gotta get to that drainage pipe in the showers before this map will do me any good. Um, electrocuting the warden. Now that's okay, right? Right. <laughs> Beating up a prison guard. <laughs> this game over. Um, I gotta get to that drainage pipe in the showers before this map will do me any good. Why? I... I don't know. Stop right there, Slate. So you gotta just kind of run by these guys if you can. Or just let them throw you toward the exit. That works too. Stop right there. There was a lot wrong in that scene. Uh, oh, do you think? <laughs> just haphazardly splashing acid all over Jack? <laughs> it's okay, oh. I just hit the chain. I better go to wall mode. Nah. <laughs> you can throw the... Oh, you can't throw the guards. So, uh... There we have it. Yeah, so... Here are all the guards. They were kind of missing in the previous... 45 minutes of gameplay. There you go. Take off our jackets. We really gotta chase this guy. Come on. No more fucking around. Who just let him grab the giant key out of here? <laughs> All the guards just hang around the execution district? Yeah, basically. That guy just backed away. Are you sure you don't need to go back into the gym and get a little stronger before you're ready for this next part? <laughs> you're gonna need 20 cigarettes to use this exit. <laughs> <laughs> the lift weights while the guards are watching. Just follow the dotted line on the map. It should lead me right out of but here. But you burned the map. No, we didn't. The best thing is in the cutscene, he goes, Tattoo's map wasn't half bad. And it's like a perfect map of this whole place. <laughs> and it's interactive, too. Yep. Wow, as morbid as it sounds, I kind of missed that. <laughs> yeah, all the convicts are down here and have guns. <laughs> it's kind of shocking it took them seven months to get here. <laughs> I thought this was just another part of the prison where they hung out regularly. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah this is self lock key. <laughs> Actually. Hey, you guys want to chill out in the escape route? Yeah, all right. <laughs> all Maybe right, go to the firing not? range down there. <laughs> I got 20 smokes to someone who can dig tunnels, patch in corners, put up lights. <laughs> Maybe get some ventilation in here. Oh, God. That's all right, ladies and gentlemen. Does it get more exciting? <laughs> it does. Oh, turn left. Yes, you turned left. Oh, yeah. No, it's really hard to do this part. Strangely, there are, like, actually confusing sections later on that you do need a map for, and of course you don't get one. Did you leave Shadow behind? Um, I'm afraid we did. Uh, that is just rude, by the way. I know, I'm a terrible pet owner. No, I meant shooting that guy in the head. Oh. Yeah, no, I, I electrocuted the guy who beat up Shadow. Well, actually, the priest did, really. So, we're okay there. Now, uh, amazingly, this gets even more annoying, these tunnels. So we're, I guess, you'd think we're like somewhere more well lit, we're kind of getting near the end, but no, nah, there's just more tunnels. Oh, good. Yep. And this time, there is a... So you're going to mine shaft now. Yep. And there's a pit here with a blind turn, which is nice and kills you every time, and because of the camera, it's like really fucking hard to move across this thing without falling, and it's instant death if you do. Unless you have 30 cigarettes. 
Right, only took 30 cigarettes. And if you die, you have to start the whole thing over again. The path is blocked. I gotta find another way around. Define whole thing. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, you, you start where I spawned with the health pack. Oh, and look, a little pathway we can weld. Eh, there's a storm So if you there. die, you don't begin back at seven months later. No, 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 I'm sorry, not the not that far back. They're a little fair. But what sucks is there's really a ton of instant death shit in here. And it's just, it's a pain in the ass. So yeah, here the gimmick is, uh, you have to go off the dotted line in order, and rejoin it later on. And Oh look, another well-placed board. Clever. Come here, coward. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't say, come here, coward, to a guy who is armed. Yes. I just killed like 80 of your friends. And can go super fast in time. And who can get to speed level 4. <laughs> that is the most impressive thing. That's what's blown me away most in this game. Those are explosive barrels, but the fucked up thing about this game is, it, with the exception of the canisters, it takes like 80 shots to blow them up. It's like barely ever worth it. You'll see later. Right. More running. More following the map. This game's got it all. Incredible. Is there a minecart sequence? <laughs> oh, funny you should say that. Oh, no, there isn't. I know, I'm sorry. It, dead to rights can't have everything. Diabetes. Oh, that path is blocked. So his map is half bad. Yeah, pretty much. The dotted line's not reliable at all. That tracks my movement somehow. Tattoo, what the hell, man? You seem like such a good cartographer from that shower Looks scene. Looks like that ledge is my only way across. <laughs> Did he draw the map in the shower? <laughs> I guess so. He made the shower his office. <laughs> so presumably, he just does everything there. <laughs> Takes phone calls. I mean, what are the guards going to do? And yet he leaves all the showers on while he does all this. This, by the way, is a great sequence for an action game. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, thanks for this, Namco. Just this endless fucking edge along the cliff. Ooh. Oh, God, I hope I don't fall, because I'm just holding right. What, what could go wrong here? Dead to rights. <laughs> the, the hottest game ever. One good cop, one very bad situation. Did this game even sell well? Was it popular? Really they made a sequel. I mean, and they actually they made two sequels. Uh, they made Dead to Rights 2, and then they made one for the PSP. And Dead to Rights 2 takes place before the events of Dead to Rights 1, and then the PSP one takes place before that. So they really didn't get the concept of sequels. And they made Jack really buff, and they gave him like this really gruff voice. And at one point, I'm not even kidding, he busts the door open and says, I'm Jack Slate, bitch! <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, do you like balancing? Because here's two boards of that. Oh, they're mixing things up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look, fighting on the boards. And it completely fucks up your camera and you can't see where you're going, so you have to use first person to kind of reset it. I like how they have convicts guarding certain areas of the escape route. <laughs> where did they get all these guns? See, this part's where you want to use the exploding barrels, but... Well, the problem with the prison is that they store all of their guns in the escape route. By the way, the other thing, dude, this game is, for, like, being so action-packed, has the wimpiest explosions. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, it's like, boom. I don't know. Boom, bam, bam, yeah, whatever. Right. Now, since, yeah, and, uh, this level already had, like, I don't know what, how many did I fight, like, 80 bosses? <laughs> Give or take, yes. <laughs> yes. So there really kind of isn't one. There's sort of a boss challenge for the escape route, you'll see it, but... Boss challenge? You know what I mean? Like one of those la like end the level type of deals, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Uh-oh. They're still saying dogpile the cop, which makes no sense in this context, but, you know. I... Oh, God, we're heading backwards across the map. Oh. Up is... Up is down, down is up. I don't even know what's going on anymore! Uh, uh... This is the worst escape ever! Jack's not very good at fitting in small places. Yeah, I know, you have to, like, leap through everything. There's only one way to get through this. Oh, here we go. The eight convict challenge. How are we gonna do this? Uh, I gotta get that door open before like the guards that. make it down here. That's your snappy one-liner? Now, what sucks is, if you fuck up this lock-picking thing, um, like, you run out of time, the cops get you, and then you have to do the level all over. The whole level? Uh, yeah, like, from when you spawn with the health pack. Wow. 
it's really a pain in the ass that you don't want. Tattoo. Didn't think he'd get this far without his picture book to follow. A guy like him's better left in a cage or the rest of the animals. Think you still got another 20 years to go, short stack. Screw you! He's over here! <laughs> oh, He's oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was some Three Stooges shit right there. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. <laughs> Wallet says his name was Marvin Silt. Looked like a typical low rent thug. I don't know why he wanted me for a hood ornament, but I didn't have time to worry about that now. I needed a place to hide, and I knew just the perfect spot. They say every criminal returns to the scene of the crime, but very rarely do the good guys. By now, Hennessy would have my apartment under watch 24-7, but I was willing to bet that that crime scene was still open thanks to the usual assortment of bureaucratic snafus. I'd hole up in Blatz's apartment, let things cool down for a bit while I planned my next move. I wasn't gonna get very far dressed like an escaped prisoner, so I figured I'd borrow some of Augie's clothes. He wouldn't be needing them anymore now that he's six feet under. I had plenty of work ahead of me. Solve my father's murder and find the guy who set me up. And to do that, I was going to need guns and information, more or less in that order. And there's one place where both exist in profusion, Chinatown. So, um, okay, maybe his apartment would be the first place I look. But the Augie Blatz's is probably like maybe three or four on my list at least. Yeah, you think? Yeah. The best part is we're going to end up um, chasing after Marvin Silt, who uh, is the guy who just tried to run us over. So, I mean, we had him. I don't know. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It was a great level. Yeah. I You know, I like this game. It gets, it gets better at it. Level 3 is kind of the... Kind of the low point. <laughs> okay, the stripper, the stripper part's the low point. That's the, that's the bottom of the barrel. And level, level three's the second worst. All right. Well, if you want me to do more commentary on your videos, you're gonna have to give me twenty five cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs>